Hey, what is up guys? It's Mustafa and I'm back with another video. So in this video, we're going to talk about something that's a bit complex and misunderstood by many people. Like, this happened many times with me. My friend used to come to me and they're like, Dude, I deleted my file permanently. It is possible to recover that? So, in this video, we're going to talk about this thing only. So without further ado, let's get started. So once you delete your file, it moves to the recycle bin and anyone with access to your computer can recover that file, right? But have you ever imagined what happened to the file that you delete permanently? You must have heard from many people, like they are saying, I got my file recovered by paying this much bucks. So if the file is permanently deleted, then how the heck can they recover that, right? So let me tell you one thing, that even after you delete your file permanently, it's still on your computer. Like you can recover it, it's not that tough thing. Hey dude, once I delete my file, it's no longer there. If it's still there, then why don't consume any space? And why can't I see it? Stupid. So, I agree with this guy. If the file is still there, then why it's not consuming any space? Right? So, before moving on to this topic, we must know how the file formation takes place. So, how the files are formed? So, files are like a scattered bit of data. It looks like a puzzle to solve. But, all your operating system can solve that puzzle. But how your operating system solve that puzzle? So your operating system got the power to take help from master file table. Or you can say your operating system make a reference to master file table. So that reference is the thing that registers space of the data on your drive. Due to that reference, you are able to see your files and use it. So once you delete a file, your operating system just read the reference. So all the scattered bit of data are still there. So if you try to make a new reference to that data, you can recover the file. So, once the reference to that master file table is deleted, there's nothing on your operating system that can solve that puzzle of bit of data. So, this is how this deleting and file formation takes place. So, once you delete your file, the reference is gone. It's no more on your computer. So, at that stage, you give your operating system permission to override that older bit of data by newer ones. And till that time, that older bit of data is not overrated by the newer bit of data, that space is taken up as empty on your computer. So once you delete a file, the reference is gone. So when it comes to recovering your data, how the new reference is formed? So there are many applications that are typically based on this thing. Like they try their best to recover that reference of the data. But sometimes it fails and sometimes it works. So I'll link down below few free applications that you can use for recovering your data. So with this our video end. So you must be wondering why the scene is different. So I got a new setup of green screen. So that's the reason because I delayed my few of the videos because it was tough working with this green screen. So now I promise as time passes, I'll try to improve my skills on this green screen. So drop that like for this green screen. And yeah, if you are new to Skyland Geek, don't forget to hit the subscribe as well because we upload tech videos every week. Till then, goodbye and stay tuned for our next video.